Hello guys, welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter. Uh, today I'm going to review for you guys probably my favorite um, IPA of all time. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, probably my favorite IPA. Uh, it is a Danish IPA. Again, it's a beer here beer. It is the Beer Here Hop Fix. Just turn the bottle slowly because it's a pretty big label it's got on here. The special thing about it is uh, rye IPA, IPA, and it's very hoppy. Uh, it's brewed by beer here, and it should be really good. I've had it numerous times, and you really get addicted to it. <laughs> Hop fix, yeah. But I'm just gonna read something aloud about the beer from from the website, and uh, it says. The story reads that India Pale Ale got its name from the British Empire in the 1700s. Ale in the no from the British Empire in the 1700s. Ale was sailed to the Far East and also India, for it to remain or for it not to go bad uh, during the long journey in the tropical heat. You uh, uh, beer was brewed that was higher in strength and with extra hops or higher in alcohol and um, all hop lovers need a fix now and then the first dose is not free it is certainly something to be drivel there is no evidence that it has something on it and there are no sources that support the that beer that was sailed to the far east was stronger than what you drank at home in the British Isles now when that little misunderstanding is out of the way so must it not uh, so it it mustn't m prevent you to enjoy the beer here hop fix. It's higher alcohol strength and strong hop profile. Hop fix is a copper colored India pale ale brewed with rye and copious amounts of hops. Hops is a plant related to the hemp plant and would like o like other hot drugs act uh, like uh, will make you have abstinences or something like that. Uh, will cause abstinences for the true hop junkie. Yeah, and uh, remember, it's never too late to get new habits. So they basically basically say that that story about IPAs originating from being shipped to India and all that isn't true. I don't know about that. If I should believe that, I don't know. I'm still gonna go with the old regular story, guys. But um, it is definitely a good IPA. It's 6.5 percent alcohol by volume, and it says here a thing I love on the bottle. Hops were harmed in the production of this beer. But, and here it says free hops, like instead of free free hemp or free hash, and then free hops. And I it's so funny that there's a syringe filled with hops on here. But it's a pretty cool uh, label. And problem with, the, with this beer, it was only brewed once. And that's kind of irritating because it is an amazing beer. And uh, I hope that they decide to brew it again. It's By the way, it's not brewed. Here in Denmark, it's brewed uh, at Brewdog. The Christian who owns uh, hop uh, beer here brewed it at Brewdog's brewery in Scotland, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and it's really good. It's th I, this was actually the last bottle available in my beer store, and the guy who owns it says said that he wasn't sure if he would ever get it back, because there isn't a lot of hop fix left, but. As it's, far as I really remember, it is a fantastic beer. Uh, I'm gonna open it down here, guys, because it's a big bottle. It's a 30, no, it's a 660 milliliter bottle. That's a pretty big bottle. Oh, oh, guys, this is oh, this is such a good IPA. Let's just get it poured, man. It is so amazing. Look at that color, guys. Look at it. Um, by the way, I'm using my Hop Goblin English pint glass, but. I think that the reason why it's rye used in this beer is because uh, it should give the beer a bigger head. I'm not quite sure, but this guy at my store told me that. But look at that color, guys. Look at it. Cloudy, amber, looking amazing. Just one problem with this beer is that it doesn't say on the website or on the bottle or anything, anything about... Um, the IBUs, and that's kind of irritating because I would love to know what the IBU content of this was, but that's just yeah, a lovely color. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna just going to try and turn this light on, but don't know if that helps, but very nice amber color. 
This is by far the best IPA I've ever had. Uh, let's dig in, check out the aroma. Oh, smells so good. A bit malty. Uh, mm, really hoppy, grapefruit, hops, really juicy. Uh, grapefruit, yeah. Um, pine as well, a bit of pine. Oh, this smells so good, guys. If you ever come across this, you gotta buy it. Uh, it is so amazing. Uh, hops, grapefruit, yeah. Uh, just not too much malt. Also a bit of tropical fruit, maybe, but it smells very, very good. Um, let's dig in. Give it a taste. Mm. Oh, this is... Man! It's so irritating that this was the last bottle, man. Wow, this is extremely hoppy for a regular IPA. Um, malty uh, on the palate, still. Um, you know that grapefruity, hoppy taste, and it's very juicy as well, um, and extremely tasty. Uh, there isn't too much pine in the... Well, there is a bit of pine, but just a tad in the flavor. It's more in the aroma, but this is... Okay, this is definitely my favorite AP, IPA. Wow, it is good. If you ever come across Hot Fix from Beer Hair, you got to try it. I'm going to rate this a 99. Um, this isn't, a, isn't as good as when I had it the first time. I had it... I, I actually got it when it was 100% fresh. Um, just when they were put on the shelves at the beer store and it was so amazing and if it was that I would probably have rated it 100 but this being a couple of months old it is still very hoppy and still tasting very fresh but it still has a little bit of of, of, of a weaker hoppy character but this is still 99 out of 100 this is probably the best IPA I've ever had Ah, oh, it is so good, guys. If you ever come across Hot Fix by Beer here, uh, you gotta check that out. It is amazing. 99 for me, guys. As always, check out my other reviews, of course. Um, and uh, what is else is there to say than cheers? And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.